Shalom. I'm Isaiah, back with another scriptural slashing on false prophets and false doctrines. I'm going to get right on into it. Jesus Christ. All you Christ worshipers, Jesus Christ. Was he gay? Hmm? Let's look into the Greek New Testament. That's what we're going to do. We're going to examine the Greek New Testament. First, let me read this. Shout out to Vernon and Joey, the bums of GMS. You know, shout out to them. That loser Bakwash. You know, that fool. All these One West false prophets. All these silly Negroes that taught you that America will be destroyed in the year 2000. Bunch of dummies. All a bunch of fools. Oh, man. Anyway, Proverbs 13 and 18. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. Like this silly Christ worship. All right? Christ Jesus. CJ the mediator. Yeah, all right. But he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil, like this Christ worship. All right? So it's sweet when you hit your goals, you know? It's a good thing. It's not about living life like a bum, holding your head down, putting your head in the dirt, ducking questions about your doctrine. You're following a false religion. You're doing just what the churches are doing, but you're doing it on the street corner. Okay? But it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. And you dummies, you fools, don't want to depart from this Christ worship. Okay? From this Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The so-called mediator. The middleman. Yeah, I right. ain't no middleman. To get to God. Are you kidding me? You need oh you, you need to you need a postman to get to the Lord, huh? You need a postman, a middleman to get to get to the most high. What a fool. Anyway, uh, Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So if you're running with a bunch of if you run, if you hang out around a bunch of people that are fools around fools. If you hang around wise, you're going to be wise. Just like it says, iron sharpeneth iron. Okay? Proverbs 27 and 17. Okay? Verse 21. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. So, if you're living a trash life, Okay? Nothing but length in your pockets and bubble gum. And some bus fare. And you got some bum on the weekend asking you for the little bit of money that you got left. This talk, this is talking about you. Proverbs 13 to 21. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Brothers and sisters, examine them scriptures. Examine those scriptures very carefully. Proverbs 13, verse 15. Well, I'm sorry. Proverbs 13. Well, starting at 15 is good, too. Really, starting at 13 all the way down. The entire chapter is good. Okay? Now, let's get into Jesus Christ. The homosexual. Alright? This is John 13 and 23. Now, there was leaning on Jesus... On Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Now, how does that sound? How does that sound? Nobody's leaning. That that's not. It's not for a man to lean on another man's bosom. No man is gonna be leaning on my bosom. Are right? you kidding me? What type of madness is that? And that means what? Just what it says too. Don't try to dance around it. This is Micah 7 and 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guy. Trust no one. Damn sure don't trust these Y2K false prophets. Don't trust them people in the churches. They're all out for your money. That's what they want. They want your money. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guy. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom. 
from her that lieth in thy bosom. I'm going to say it again. From her that lieth in thy bosom. But Jesus had a man lying in his bosom, huh? That's what you want to believe in? That's in the Greek New Testament about, your, about you fools, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, let's see one of the top uh, in, endorsers of the top promoters of, Jace, of, of CJ. The top CJ promoters, Paul himself. Hmm, you gotta wonder, was he a homosexual? Maybe he was. We're going to read this and then we'll go into the law about homosexuals in the Bible. Romans 16 and 16. Salute one another with an holy kiss. What? Romans 16 and 16. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of who? The churches of Christ salute you. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. I'm good on that, man. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good with Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, okay? Romans 16 is a so salute one another with a holy kiss. And then you wonder why there's children all over the planet getting molested by these Catholics. Because all you are is a, a Catholic. Even you Islam dudes. You fools in Islam, you know, you might be sitting there chuckling, watching watching the video and chuckling to yourself. But uh, I just watched that video, Shaka Most uh, Handling Islam. I forgot what the video was titled, but man, that was bad. That was bad, and that was in less than 20 minutes, yo. I mean, your whole religion was... I mean, it's pretty easy, though. You can go in the Bible real quick. Isaiah 34 and 16 and destroy Islam. That's a whole nother, that's another story in itself. But uh, this here is proof positive of homosexuality. And you can't dance around it. People are going to try to dance with the uh, definitions and try to flip it around and say it really means this, really means that. This is the King James Version Bible. You shouldn't go anywhere. Prove it. This is in the Bible. This is in your, this is in the, well, excuse me. This is in the Greek New Testament. So don't go anywhere. Stay, stay right here. Stay right here in the Greek New Testament and explain that. And then go to the other scriptures where Paul tells you to greet each other with a kiss. So now... You send your, your, your little boy to church, and then where's he leaning? In the father, the so-called father, uh, in his bosom. And then what does he do? He reads him this scripture, and what does he do next? And then you wonder why children are getting molested in them churches. Okay, now let's go to the law. Let's go to the law on homosexuality in the Bible. This is Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So no, there is none of this business about lying in somebody's bosom. None of this business about that. Lying in uh, bosom. That's unlawful. That's not godly. Talk about some lying in the bosom. And uh, let's go to the penalty for you want for lying in the bosom. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them are eight. Both of them. And that includes Jesus Christ, okay? Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay, now listen. God doesn't like that uh, madness that they're talking about in the Greek, in the freak, Greek, Greek, freak. New Testament, that madness, trying to push that on brothers and sisters, like we don't have enough uh, hell that we're catching, last ones hired, first ones fired, poverty, you know, all types of hell, and then you put that Greek freakness on them, talking about lying in the bosom, and, and greet each other with a kiss type of madness is that? I dare you try to uh, come, uh, come greet me with a kiss. Um, a man I'm talking about. Are you kidding me? What type of madness is that? Oh, that don't mean that, brother. That don't mean that. You gotta go deep. You gotta go deep. Well, I'm going, that's what's written. That's what's written in your Greek freak New Testament about Jesus Christ and Paul. The ones that you swear by. The ones that you really worship. 
Paul and Jesus. CJ. CJ the mediator. That garbage. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that. Shalom.